To assess the anterior hip, we can put a pillow underneath the patient's knee to relax the structures at the front. First of all, we follow rectus femoris in transverse section until we see its attachment, which is the direct head onto the top of the AIIS. If we move the probe medially and the most medial aspect of the probe slightly distally, then we can see a nice structure, a nice white hyperechoic round structure, which is the psoas tendon. It's important to get our anatomy correct here. So you can see the AIIS on the right hand side. We can also see just superior to that, the lateral iliacus, muscle belly, and then just underneath the hyperechoic line, which indicates the intramuscular tendon, is the medial iliacus. And just under that is the psoas tendon. It's important to tilt the probe to get the tendon nice and bright. Now, if we move medially, we see a nice landmark, which is the um, femoral artery pumping away there. And that's a nice landmark because underneath that is the psoas muscle belly. If we move more medially, we can also see the um, hyperechoic line of the pelvis there, but on top of that is the pectineus muscle. So it's important to orientate ourselves in a transverse section. Once we've orientated ourselves, for example, we can spin on any of those structures. So if we spin on the psoas tendon, we can see the psoas tendon sitting on top of the hip joint. You can see the femoral artery, you can see the pulsations above that, but we can see the nice fibra alignment of the psoas tendon. Now it's really important to look carefully at that tendon, particularly above the joint, because sometimes we can see fluid around the tendon and we may think that that's bursal fluid, but actually a lot of the time, just like in the long head of biceps around the shoulder, we actually see fluid around the tendon but it's coming from the joint itself. If we go back into transverse section, we can also see that tendon um, that sits nicely on top of the uh, joint. And you can see between the articular cartilage and the psoas tendon is the capsule of the hip joint. If we go back into long section, we can also see just the small hyperechoic region there is the labrum. Now, if we follow the um, articular cartilage, trying to keep the bone nice and bright, we can actually move distally until we see the femoral neck. Now it's really important to look for a cam lesion uh, in this longitudinal section, which would be located just above the neck of the femur. Now, if we slide down, this is where we carry out uh, hip intraarticular injections. And it's important to measure the anterior capsule, which is the iliofemoral ligament, and some of the studies show that more than seven millimeters, some talk about more than 10 millimeters, may indicate some thickening and some synovitis. And if there is an intraarticular effusion, then it generally accumulates down the neck just underneath the anterior aspect of the capsule where the arrow is pointing to now.